What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I want to talk about the uh, the brawl you had at Staples Center the other night, man. You know, the um, you had the two-round fight between Chris Paul and Rajon Rondo with a little bit of Blake Ingram thrown in there, ironically with Floyd Mayweather sitting courtside, man. You know, I want to talk about that a little bit and also, you know, the fallout from the suspensions. First of all, you know, the brawl, you know, it started. James Harden was driving to the hole and then he basically shoved off, shoved off Brandon Ingram and still ended up getting the call. So when Ingram passed around by him, Ingram kind of gave Harden a little shove. You know, he had to get separated and pulled away. And it looked like when you put the replay in slow motion, it looked like Rondo kind of on the slick, kind of spitting Chris Paul's face. You know, it wasn't like a glob of spit, but it was like a little minor little punt. You know what I'm saying? Chris Paul put his hand in his face like, boy, don't you ever spit on me again. Then Rajon Rondo hit him with a left hook. You know what I'm saying? Then Paul came back, tried to get him with the right uppercut. And then all hell broke loose, man. My thoughts on that, man, first of all, like, I understand that Brandon Ingram, started the whole thing but why he gotta get suspended more games than Chris Paul and Rondo man like Rondo if you blow it if you break it down unless they're trying to say Rondo didn't do it on purpose didn't do it intently Rondo spitting Chris Paul face man like let's just call it what it is man like Rondo spitting his face I feel like Rondo should be suspended more games than Brandon Ingram man I feel like Rondo should have the most Ingram should have the second most, and Chris Paul should have the least, which he does have the least. But I feel like Rondo should have more games than Brandon Ingram, man. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't just spit in a man's face, man. Where it is, you know, by accident, intently, whatever, especially, you know, they also, Rajon Rondo and Chris Paul kind of had a history of not really liking each other like that from when Rondo was playing with Boston and when Chris Paul was playing in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you got the whole debate where everybody getting in the debate about LeBron, like feeling like, oh, why LeBron going to go grab, you know, Chris Paul instead of his teammates, man. And I'm going to come to LeBron's defense on this because, well, honestly, I could see both arguments. I could see the argument to why, you know, he would go check on Chris Paul instead of his teammates. And I could also get the, the argument why you check on your teammates first, man. The thing is, is LeBron just got there, man. Like, let's just call it what it is. LeBron just got to LA. LeBron don't really know his teammates like that, like that yet. If you notice, whenever they had the introductions, whenever they was going to the, the middle of the court, you know, for the jump ball, LeBron had, like, Coming out when they announced him, he just basically high-fived all his teammates. But when he went over to shake Chris Paul hand, him and Chris Paul already had a special handshake. You know what I'm saying? Usually LeBron had, when he was in Cleveland and when he was with Miami, LeBron always had a special handshake that he done with his teammates. But you notice he ain't really got that handshake with his Lakers teammates yet. Now, not to say he never going to do it, but he ain't got that handshake yet. And to me, you know, most people probably look at it as, like, not that big of a deal. But, man, I feel like that's a big deal, man, when you and somebody got a special handshake. You know what I'm saying? That means y'all really, really rock with each other like that. And I feel like, you know, that's going to come in over time with LeBron and, and his teammates like that. But, I mean, Chris Paul, basically, from what I understand, he like the godfather of his son or something like that. I mean, that's his boy. He's been knowing him for a long, long time, man. Like, that's his boy. Like, I can't just expect him to not check on this boy. And as far as his teammates, man, I mean, I just feel like he ain't been around him long enough yet, man. I feel like at some point, you know, yeah, you, you, you step up for your teammates and this and that, but at some point, man, he ain't really been around him that much yet, man. You know, then if you really look at it also, man, everybody getting on LeBron, James Harden walked clean away from the whole thing, man. James Harden like, man, I ain't got nothing to do with none of this, man. So, I mean, you know, I feel like the teammate thing, man, over time, man, LeBron and them, them, them youngsters, man, they're going to bond. They're going to get cool and stuff like that, man. But right now, man, Chris Paul is his guy, man. You know, not to say he going to throw the game to help the Rockets win. You know, LeBron out there trying to kick his ass, trying to go to war with his teammates to beat Chris Paul's ass. 
But in the meantime, man, when things things pop off, man, you're going to check on the people you know. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you being from a certain hood, but you're going, you just move somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if your new hood kind of get into it with one of your closest partners, man, no disrespect to your new hood, but like, man, I've been rocking with this dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my dog. Like, I've been rocking with him, man. You can't expect me to just turn my back on him, and he just... Especially Rondo was kind of in the wrong. Rondo spit in the man's face. You know, I'm not saying LeBron seen the spit, but Rondo, he seen Rondo through the first punch, man. Chris Paul got the worst end of the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, you know, Brandon Ingram suspended four games. Rajon Rondo suspended three. Chris Paul suspended two. I feel like Rondo should be suspending more games than all of them, man. But, um, but that's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, get your boy subscribed, man. I'm going to have... NBA content, NFL content, college content, all that throughout the season, man. Y'all have a blessed one.